What I've learned from all of this is that life is indeed a journey. Making a difference is a journey and the journey doesn't end with me. I am so grateful. Stephen Greenbaum is our guest today on Callum Connect's micro podcast. The Reverend Stephen Greenbaum is an interfaith minister, now retired and award-winning author and founder of the Living Interfaith Church. The hurdle I faced as an entrepreneur who wanted to make not so much a living, but a difference amongst the chaos and violence in our world that seemed to me to be centered on dividing us into malleable groups and subgroups by accenting our differences and the continual creating of new groups of other, by definition, lesser beings. Make a difference? Me? (laughs) What could I do? What was open to me? This hurdle baffled me for the first 50 years of my life. The hurdle was overcome with a lot of help. At age 50, I cried out, hoping that whoever God was, wherever God was, God would hear and answer. After several months of demanding answers to so many of the life issues that plagued me, a quiet voice told me to get a pen and some paper and write. I took dictation three pages of it, telling me in so many ways that we are one family, regardless of race, gender, religion, one family. My first challenge was to study the dictation. I did so for several years, realizing that my entrepreneurial path, if you will, was to do what I could to spread the word of mutual respect, love, and compassion. The challenge? How? I'm just one human. How could I make a difference? My journey involved going back to school and becoming a minister. Then I founded the Living Interfaith Church in Linwood, Washington. I have spoken about interfaith at the Parliament of the World's Religions and also written three pathfinding books. My first, The Interfaith Alternative, laid out an alternative to constantly dividing ourselves, particularly by religion, then practical interfaith, which was in answer to those who asked me after my first book, what is this practical? These two were followed by One Family Indivisible, a spiritual memoir. But despite ill health and retiring, I realized my journey wasn't complete. I felt I needed to write one final book at age 73 that would share the dictation I had been gifted and pull my life's work together. Now, at nearly 75, that book has gone to press. It's available for pre-order and has the official publication date of June 1st. What I've learned from all of this is that life is indeed a journey. Making a difference is a journey and the journey doesn't end with me. I am so grateful that not only does the Living Interfaith Congregation I began in Linwood, Washington continue, but there is now a thriving Living Interfaith Congregation in Vancouver, Canada. This is warmly reassuring. If you enjoyed this podcast and would like to find more inspiring information about entrepreneurs around the world doing incredible things, make your way to enterprisezone.cc. 